Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How Good are evening. you today? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Very happy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Ricardo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Noemi. Good evening, Judy, Ruben, Francisco. Good evening, a todas y a todos. Good. How was your weekend, people? How was your weekend? Okay. Yay. Very tired. I'm fine. Thank you. Why? Thank you. You said tired, Francisco. Water, please. Yes. Why tired? Did you work? Yes, in my work. Um, vino el auditor. <laughs> the auditor came. The auditor came. The auditor came. Okay. Did he come Saturday or Sunday? Um, two days. Two days. Okay. One time I was the translator for some auditors and they're not easy. Una, una vez estuve de traductor para unos auditores que no lo hagan español y cosas serias cuando llega la... <laughs> Hacen preguntas que lo, lo ponen a uno on a, on a difficult situation. Thank you. Yes. Okay, welcome back. Thank you for being punctual. All right, so um, let's begin. What's today's date? Today is four, March four. March or April? A April, sorry. April 4, 22. Yes, April 4th, Monday, April 4th, 2022. Okay. Yes. Judy, how do you spell Monday? M O N D A Y. Very good. Capital M or lowercase? Capital M. Very good. Ruben, how do you spell April? A P R I L. Yes. A P R I L. April. Yes. And what's the date, Juan Ricardo? R, R. The date. What's the date? Why stay? What's the date? Andrea, what's the date? Uh, fourth. Fourth. How do you spell fourth? Fourth hit. F O U R T H. Very good, Andrea. F O U R T H, fourth. And what is the year? It's 2022. Rafa Barrientos, how do you spell 20? How do you spell 20, Rafa? Okay. Yeah. T W T N T um uh, Y Y yes Y T W E N T Y T Y Okay good All right so let's begin Let's talk a little bit about um last class well, we only have four more classes. You guys are brave. You guys are brave. Que le digo ahí? 
que casi estamos a finish class. You guys are brave. ¿Qué les digo brave. ahí? Ahí está en el chat. You guys are brave. ¿Son qué? Estamos movilizando. You guys are valientes. brave. You son valientes. Are brave. Ustedes son, son valientes. valientes. Yes, ustedes son valientes. Porque hay un sinfín de cosas que pudieran estar haciendo de 8 a 10 de la noche. Entre ellas quizás una de las más importantes que necesita el cuerpo humano que dormir. <ríe> so, congratulations. Mis respetos para ustedes. Very good. Ok. Um, what did we talk about on, on, on Friday? Sure. Thank you, Madam Maui. Sure. <ríe> What did we talk about on Friday? What topics did we cover? Uh -huh. The past continuous, the use of past continuous. The use of simple past and past continuous. Past right. Continuous. And the past continuous and the simple past, they have a lot of demand. Tienen mucha demanda. Todo el tiempo se ocupa el simple past and past continuous. Remember, the past continuous makes reference to an action in progress in a particular time in the past. I was having lunch at 12 noon. I was taking an exam at 3 p.m. I was playing with my children one hour ago. I was having dinner at 6.30, maybe. So, acciones en progreso en un tiempo en particular uh, in the past. That's the past continuous. The simple past makes reference to actions that are completely finished. So, past continuous, an action in progress in a particular time in the past. Simple pass, a complete action uh, in the past. Questions or comments? What's the auxiliary we use to make questions in past? Did. Did. What happens to the verb? The verb is in base form. The verb is in base form. Exactly, the verb is in base form. What happens when the information is negative? Add uh, N-O-T. Okay, and, Add what is not. The, and what is the contraction of did not? Didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Okay, so we also make um, negative didn't. questions in past, uh-huh. Why did there? Okay. Questions or comments? No. Entonces, ahorita vamos a poner en práctica todo esto que les estoy preguntando. I will give you a couple of minutes, le voy a dar un par de minutos, so you can speak about the activities you did on the weekend. Aunque se haya quedado en casa, usted dice dormí. Vi televisión, regué las plantas, cociné almuerzo para mi familia. Algo tuvo que haber hecho. So, let me um, break out rooms. 14 people. Vamos a ver a que vengan los demás. Create. Right here. And right here, everybody has a partner. Let's go. Practice your simple past tense and past continuous as well. Okay. I was washing dishes when my family came. I was watching television when the electricity went out. Things like that. Go ahead.
Let's go to class. Let's go to your classrooms.
Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. How Good are you? Is. I'm fine. I'm working hard. Easy now. <laughs> yes. I Just received your busy. message. Yes. <laughs> See, thanks. No problem. Yes. Tomorrow. Me va a tocar que me cuenten las costillas, así que tengo que tener todo bien ordenadito y aunque las ando ordenadas por zona, pero tengo que revisar, ¿verdad? Yeah, no problem. Que no haya alguna faltante ahí que la haya dejado o algo por el estilo, porque a veces se les deja a los clientes. Uh -huh. Así es que en esa revisión estoy y hoy tengo, pero una cantidad horrible porque a mí me entregan toda la facturación, no se quedan con nada. Entonces, I understand. Es un, Don't worry. Es un montón, pero aquí voy a estar escuchando hoy. Good, very good, Carlos. Go yeah. ahead. Gracias, teacher. Okay, good, no problem. Okay, so uh, any questions about how to use the simple past tense? Pregúnteme si leí el periódico hoy. Anybody? Yeah, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Juan yes, well, Ricardo. Do you read um, the newspaper? We the are newspaper going to... now? Did yes. You read? Did, did you read the newspaper today? Uh, today. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Hello. Yes, Juan Ricardo. Yeah. Um. I have a question. Yes, um, sir. Are we gonna Are we gonna use the auxiliary did just for questions or? No. That's a That's a good question. Fíjense bien lo que voy a poner ahí en el chat. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga me está preguntando que si vamos a ocupar el did solamente for questions. Ok, ustedes me preguntaron, did you read? Puede decir news también. Did you read? Pero vamos a hacer más. Usar. The newspaper today. Did you read the newspaper today? The answer can be, yes, I did. Or, no, I didn't. So, to make questions in the simple past, usted tiene que poner el auxiliar que corresponde, que es el did, y el verbo del cual usted está hablando se queda base form, en su forma base. Para responder, usted me pregunta, did you read the newspaper today? Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Entonces, ahí se está ocupando el did para decir, sí lo leí, no, I didn't, no, no lo leí. Ahora bien, aquí les va otra forma. I went to the park today. I went to the park today. ¿Qué dice ahí? I went to the park today. Fui al parque. Ajá. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia si yo le digo? Permítame, hice un typo. Ok. Can somebody explain the difference between I went to the park today and I did go to the park today? Mm -hmm. We are just using the auxiliary and the verb is the base form. Okay, but yes, the, the writing is different. But what is the difference in terms of the message? ¿Qué dice en español? I did go to the park today. Fui al parque ahora. ¿Perdón? Yo fui al parque ahora. Ok. ¿Alguien más? ¿Someone else? El el prim... Es como uh -huh. 
Yo hice ir al parque hoy, algo así. Ok, someone else, alguien más. All your answers are good. I went to the park today. Quiere decir, yo fui al parque hoy. If you make a combination of did plus the verb, no dice, yo fui al parque hoy, sino que está diciendo, yo sí fui al parque hoy. So you make the combination of did plus the main verb to make emphasis, to highlight the message. Hey, fui al parque y no te vi. Y usted me dice, I did go to the park today. Sí fui al parque hoy. Mm. ¿Cómo me va a decir? Sí hablé con mi supervisor. I did talk to my supervisor. I did talk to my supervisor. Yes. How do you say, sí pagué la luz? Sí pagué la luz. I did pay the bills. I did pay the bills. Entonces, to make emphasis, you need to make a combination of did plus the main verb. Pero eso lo vamos a ocupar solamente when you want to make emphasis. Mire, y no vino Carmen, ¿verdad? Sí vino. How do you say sí vino? Yes, I yes. She did go. She did come. She did come. She did come. Sí vino. She did come. Uh -huh. So, todo lo que usted quiera hacerle emphasis, you make a combination of did plus the main verb. But just for emphasis. Yes. Yes, for emphasis. Okay. How do you say, si sí comí desayuno? I did. I dinner. I dinner. Si sí, comí desayuno. I did eat breakfast. Yeah, I but... did eat breakfast. I did eat breakfast. Todos lo ven comiendo mm -hmm. una pupusa en horas de trabajo y le dicen y que no comiste. I did eat breakfast. Pero me quedó un huequito de I did eat breakfast. Questions or comments about the simple past. Y hay otros tiempos gramaticales que para usted hacer énfasis no le va a cambiar nada a la oración, sino que tiene que cambiar la entonación. Y la entonación le está diciendo, sí he comido, sí he hablado, sí he ido. Pero cuando venga ese tiempo, ahí lo voy, le voy a explicar. Questions or comments? No questions. Okay, give me a Teacher, entonces, ¿cuál es la forma correcta para decir este, lo que hicimos el fin de semana? Uh, si está en una, en una conversación normal, usted va a poner el verbo, el sujeto, el verbo en tiempo pasado, más el complemento. Si es que es necesario el complemento. Pero para hacer énfasis, si sí fui donde mi familia, si sí me visitaron. Si sí recibí el paquete. Si usted quiere hacer énfasis o quiere aclarar algo, you have to make the combination of did plus the verb in, in, in uh, base form. Teacher, a question. Yes. And the negative four, you think I did go to the park today? No, ahí no aplica. Porque ahí no solo está diciendo, I didn't go to the park. Se queda normal. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Teacher. Yes. Si estoy en una conversación con alguien y este, la respuesta que lo quiero dar se la podría dar con yes I did o, y con el verbo en su forma base o forma regular o se la podría dar con yes y el verbo en pasado. Eh, como usted guste, no, no. depende qué es lo que quiera decir. Si quiere decir, mire, Did you visit your family on, on Saturday? Yes, I visited my family on Saturday. Pero si te quiere decir, si visité a mi familia, I did visit my family. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yep. So, good. So, la pregunta que hizo Judy es muy interesante. Si usted lo está diciendo de forma normal, solamente conjugue el verbo al tiempo pasado. If you want to emphasize, You need to make a combination of did 
plus the main verb. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Iris. ¿Cuál es lo más usual? ¿Usar el, el, el verbo en, en tiempo pasado o usar, hay, usar did? Eh, todo depende qué es lo que usted quiera decir. Lo más común es uh, el, el verbo en tiempo pasado. Porque ocupamos el tiempo pasado para hablar de cosas generales que para to emphasize. Ok. Thank you, yes. teacher. Ok. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? So, with the simple past tense, algo que también... La pregunta, debemos... la pregunta, teacher. Yes, Juan Ricardo. Bueno, como dice que hay que... Hay unas palabras en el pasado. Ajá. Entonces, va yo en el pasado, digamos, saqué mi diplomado en computación. Ajá. Entonces... Tengo que siempre poner el pasado, ¿cómo es? Pasado continuo. No, pasado simple. Simple, va. Pasado. Sí. Ajá. Ya, yeah, usted puede decir, I took a computer course. Computer course. Ah, yes. Ok. Yes, yes. Thank right. you. Good, very good. So, remember, algo que tiene que recordar también, esto es para todos. The differences between regular and irregular verbs. Please refresh my memory. What are regular verbs? Alguien que me refresque. ¿Cuál es el verbo regular? What's the regular verb? Uh, add ed. 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 Todo aquel que usted uh, le pone una E de al final para conjugarlo a tiempo pasado. Ese es el regular. I mean, what, what is irregular? Um, what is irregular? Cuando dice... Sí, de, sí de, yes, Juan Ricardo. Cuando dice CD o SIGN, eh, ahí está ya utilizando el verbo UN. ¿El verbo? Cuando digo yo SIGN o SIGN. SAY. How do you spell SAY? Ajá. How do you spell SAY? SAY. How do you spell SAY? Ajá. ¿Qué le estoy preguntando ahí, Juan Ricardo? How do you spell say? ¿Cómo se deletrea la palabra que estaba preguntando? Say, say. Y como acuérdese que se le va a agregar NG, va. NG. Say. No, pero ahí está hablando en gerundio usted. Say. Ah, hey, <laughs> no problem. Okay. No okay, so regulars, we put ED for conjugation. Irregulars, the form changes. El regular le ponemos ED para conjugarlo a tiempo pasado. Irregular es aquel que cambia. Ok, so let me show you. Ok, can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Can somebody read instructions in part two? Write the past simple of these regular verbs. Very good. Thank you. Can you read number three as well? Tell me, please. Write the past simple form of these irregular verbs. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. 
So, um, part two tiene que poner el tiempo pasado de esos verbos regulares. Part three, usted tiene que poner ese verbo en tiempo pasado. The biggest challenge is part three. Porque acuérdense, le ponemos ed para conjugarlo a tiempo pasado, pero algunos verbos sufren a algunas modificaciones. So go ahead, please do parts two and three. Go ahead. Teacher, please, can you, ¿cómo se dice? Hacer más grande la imagen. Sure, right now. Thank you. Give me a second. Is that better? Yes, okay. much better. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. How are you today? I am relaxed because I haven't. Are, are you at home or at work? Are you in your house or are you in your work? House. Okay, good, good. Ahorita estamos haciendo la parte 2 y la 3, poniendo esos verbos en past tense. Okay. Y también vamos a practicar el ED pronunciation.
Are you guys finished with part two? Not yet. Okay, go ahead. Si el verbo termina consonant, vowel consonant, como en el caso de stop, stop, how many syllables in stop? How many syllables are there? Two. You sure? Three. You sure? One. One is correct. Stop. One. Do, you, do you remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? What do? 
¿Cómo identifica el número de sílabas en una palabra? How do you identify the number of syllables in a word? Por el número de vocales. Una, Exacto. Una... Por, el, por el número de vocales que usted escucha. No las que ve, pero las que escucha. Entonces, cuando usted dice stop, solo tiene una sílaba. Y esa sílaba termina consonant, vowel, consonant. Me explico. T is a consonant, O is a vowel, P is a consonant. Entonces, vuelvo a repetirle y anótelo si es necesario. Cuando el verbo termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, usted tiene que doblar la última consonante. Entonces, para decir, yo me detuve en el supermercado, usted va a decir, I stopped at the supermarket. Y ese stop va con double P. ¿Por qué? Porque termina en consonant, vowel, consonant. Coge. The same shop. Excuse me? The same workshop. Shop. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Listo, teacher. Okay, one more minute, people. One more minute. Para terminar la parte dos. Finish the part two. Finish part two. Okay, entonces démosle. Talk, talked. Wait. What is the past tense of wait? Wait. Waited. 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 Aquí estamos aplicando ya a um, cuando decimos t, cuando decimos d y cuando decimos ed. Waited. Okay. Porque es waited because the last sound is a t. Y habíamos dicho que cuando el verbo termine en t or d, la ed se pronuncia tal como se escribe. Waited. Waited. What about stop? Give me one second. Okay. Stop it. Okay, sorry. Um, what's the past tense of stop? Stop it. Stop it, stopped or stopped? Stop. 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 Want? Wanted. 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 Very good. Open. Okay, give me a second. When you say stop, is it one P or double P? C. Double, double, double P. P. ¿Por qué razón? Porque termina consonant, vowel, consonant. Open. Uh, open. 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 Yeah. Open. Opened. 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 The stadium opened at 11 in the morning. A stadium morning. opened at 11 in the morning. Close. 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 Closed. Closed. Uh -huh. Close. Walk. Walker. 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 la E de suena Walk. tal como Walk. se escribe. Solo si termina D or T. Solamente esos dos sonidos. 
want, need, investigate. Solo que sea una D o una T, you pronounce ED exactly the same way you write it. Right? So the past tense of walk, walked. Walked. Watch. Walked. Watch. What about drop? What about drop? Drop it. Drop. Drop. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Le vuelvo a repetir. Usted va a Drop pronunciar it. la ED tal como se escribe solamente cuando termine en T o en D. Entonces el pasado de drop is not drop it. It's dropped. 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 One dropped. P or double P? Double P. P. Double P. 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 Why? Double P. 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 Because double P. Very good, because there is a, a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. Pick. Consonant. Consonant. Pick. Pick. Picked. Pick. Pick it. Not, not pick, pick it. it. Not pick, pick it. Picked. Pick. 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 Like. Like, like, it. like, like it. it. Not, like not like it. it. Not like it. Not like it. I like it. Usted like va a pronunciar it. la ed tal como se escribe solamente si uh, solamente si termina en una t o en una d. Entonces usted no puede decir I like it the movie. Me gustó la película. No, usted tiene que decir I like the movie. I like the movie. Like, like the movie. I like the movie. I like the movie. What about shop? Shop. 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 ED suena como una T solita. Chat. Shop. Shop. Chat. 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 Chatter. Ahí se aplica la Chatter. ED. ¿Por qué razón? Porque Chatter. termina chat T. Y la regla dice que se termina en T o en D. Entonces usted pronuncia la ED tal como le escribe. Chatted o chatted. Chatted. Chatter. Use. 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 What about rest? ¿Qué significa rest? Descansar. Rest. Descansar. Exactly. Okay, so the past tense of rest. Rested. Rested. Rest. Rested. Rested. Ahí se aplica Rested. la ED pronunciada como la escribimos porque termina en T. Print. Printed. 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 And what about play? Play it. Play it. Play it. Play it. Played. 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 Yes. Played. Played. Ok. Va. Y aquí va la parte 3, que es lo más, uh, uh, es el más challenging. Part 3. Let's go with irregular verbs. Let's go. Mother. Mother. Mate. Mate. Steven, Colby, Habib, <coughs> Salud. Gracias. Thank you. How do you say salud in English? 
Bless you. Thank you. No, perdón, teacher, no, todavía no seguimos. ¿Perdón? Todavía no seguimos. ¿Cómo no? En la parte 3 estamos ahorita. Ok, listo. No, esperamos un rato. Mide. ¿Cuántos terminaron la parte 3 ya? Yeah. Finish, teacher. Finish, teacher. Ok, so let's do it. The past tense of make? Made. 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 Take? Took. Come? Came. Come. Go. Have? Have. 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 Is? Is. Was. 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 Where? Mm. Solo is. Was. 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 Porque were es el pasado de R. Dale. Okay. Okay, yeah. so what about eat? Eight. 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 Boat. 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 Go. Boat. Went. 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 Thought. Bring. Brought. 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 Leave. Left. 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 Feel. 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 Give. Gave. 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 Do. Did. Did. Oh. Very good. Very good. Nice. ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos de estos verbos usted tuvo que buscar cuál era el pasado del, del ya conjugado? Yo voy a hacer los saludos a todos. Yo voy a recordar. De algunos ya se me habían olvidado. Ok, perfecto. Eh, eh, si se le habían olvidado. Está bien, no hay problema. Y si son completamente nuevos para ustedes, pues hay que meterle, hay que meterle. Ok, vamos con el último ejercicio. Use the prompts to write sentences. El libro le da las partes de cómo usted va a formar esa oración en tiempo pasado. Entonces, una vez más, ahí tiene que saberse usted cuál es el pasado de los verbos que están ahí en las en los, en los brackets. Dice, they see a film last night. Usted debe de poner ahí, ellos vieron un video anoche, o un filme anoche. Do, did, we waited, have had, be, was, y así sucesivamente. Are the instructions clear? Ahí le dan el primer ejemplo. Dice, he goes swimming yesterday. Él ir a nadar ayer. Pero él ir a nadar ayer no suena bien. Entonces yo tengo que decir, él fue a nadar ayer. Entonces tengo que ocupar el pasado de go, el cual es when. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Dice one, one uh, question. Yes, ask me. Aquí no se usa el, el, el pasado eh, simple. ¿Cómo no? Es el pasado simple. Porque digamos en el ejemplo A, ahí le ponen el ir a nadar ayer. Pero no se habla así, sino que tiene que decir el fue a nadar ayer. Entonces tiene que poner go en tiempo pasado. Como, como está en, en ING, en swimming. No, pues, swimming es, es un deporte, entonces va a. Ah, ok. A, así se escribe, natación. Oh, sí, ok, thank you. Good.
Give me a second. Voy a levantar un momento, permita. I'm back just in case you have any questions.
five more minutes, independientemente por donde vaya, five more minutes. Hey. Two minutes, two minutes. All right, volunteer for letter B. They see a film last night. They saw a film last night. Last night. Very good. They saw a film last night. Very good. Hey, a teacher one like it. Okay, uh, letter C. I didn't Francisco, know. what's letter C? I do my homework. I did my homework. Very good. I did my homework. Yes. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, you wait for an hour. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, can you hear me? Yes, it's true. Okay, what's the answer for, not, for letter D? Um, here are just um, affirmative sentences. Yes, but what is the answer for letter D? Okay. You waited 
for an hour. You waited for an hour. Exactly. Very good. Noemi, what is letter E? Michael have a cold. Michael had a cold. Michael had a cold. Yes. Um, the teacher be late. Anybody? The teacher was late. The teacher was late. Very good. Sue and Juan walk to school today. So when and Juan walk to a school today. Very good. Sue and Juan walked to school today. Very good. Carmen, do you have letter H? I take my dog for a walk. I take to what, her friend. What, okay, what is the past tense of take, Carmen? Take it. Not really. Somebody, what is the past tense of take? Took. 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 Uh, yes. Okay. It's better for irregular. Took. Okay, took. Yes. So I took I... my dog for a walk. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, she talked to her friends. Reina Margarita, do you have that one? Letter I. What is the past tense of talk? Reina Margarita. Equal uh, teacher. I, letter I, la letra I. The dog, the dog. No, uh, la que sigue. Letra I. Solo esa me aparece. La I. Te ah, letra I. No. Esa es la H. Somebody? Anybody? She talked to her friends. She talked. Exactly. She talked to her friends. Yes. We give him the answers. We gave the answers. Uh -huh. We answer. gave him the answers. Letter K, Marcela, come to the party. What is the past tense of come? Came. 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 Very good. Marcela came to the party. And letter L, the dog eat my breakfast. When the dog the ate my breakfast. When, uh, break the dog ate my breakfast. All right. Break. Any questions or comments between letter A and L? Alguna pregunta sobre la letra A hasta la L? Algún verbo que no identifique o no sabe su forma pasada? En el último, ¿cómo era, Tiche? Uh, it Es en presente, el pasado de it is eight. Y se escribe como, teacher. A T E. Suena como ocho, pero se escribe totalmente diferente. Y usted dice eight. Ok. Uh -huh. Francisco, the past tense of take. What's the past tense of take, Francisco? Yes, yo, eh, yo escuché que dijeron talk, pero no sé cómo took. se escribe. Talk, talk. Yes. T double O K. O O K. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Good. Y está bien si digamos usted um, dice el, el pasado de it, no sé cuál es. Ah, yo le voy a poner ed por si es regular. Pero es mejor decirlo en presente a querer mezclar regular con irregular. Questions or comments? No. No, teacher. Okay. I have a question. Yes. What's the question, Moises? What is the meaning prompt? Uh, oh, prompt. You're talking about portions. Portions. Uh, portion. Yes. Okay. Portions. Yes. 
for it. Okay, so let's go to the book. I... Please open your books to page 40. Page 40. Can you see my book? Yes, it is. Okay. So affirmative statements, negative statements. What's the meaning of was? ¿Qué significa was? No, de to be. Ajá, oh, es estaba. el pasado de is. Fue o estuvo. Ajá. Él fue presidente fue en los años 30. O él estuvo en México el mes pasado. Fue o estuvo. Were. All the employees were happy to attend. Were. Les decía en la última clase que no es where. Because if you say where, estaría diciendo dónde. Y no es dónde, sino que es el pasado de are. All the employees were happy to attend. We were not or we weren't unwilling to help. Any questions about this chart? Teacher, repeat yes. the pronunciation the, of word. 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 So, recuerde, what are the three forms of verb to be in present? Ahí vamos a empezar. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? Is, are. Uh -huh. Am is are. Am is are. Am is are. Son las tres formas del verbo to be en tiempo presente. Cuando conjugamos am is are to the simple past tense, el is y el am se convierten en was y el are se queda en were. 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 Y recuerde, were. How many syllables do you hear in were? One. Only one. Exactly. One. ¿Por qué razón? Porque la second E is quiet. La segunda E es muda. Y lo mismo sucede cuando está haciendo lo negativo. Were, weren't. Were, weren't. Positive and negative, siempre solo llevo una sílaba. So no diga weren't. No, it's weren't. Weren't. Okay, questions or comments? No? So this. No, teacher. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. So dice, Mary went a una capacitación o entrenamiento en Guatemala el jueves pasado, el, el, el martes pasado. Martes. El entrenamiento estuvo interesante porque ella aprendió cómo arreglar el equipo que ella ocupa y cómo prevenir daños en él. El presentador fue muy... Helpful? How do you say helpful in Spanish? Servicial. Servicial, sí. Gracias. Y aclaró todas las dudas que Mary tenía. Él usó una computadora para presentar ejemplos durante el speech. What's the meaning of speech? Presentación, algo así. No. Discurso. Speech, un discurso, yes. Discurso? Speech es discurso. Okay. Discurso. Yes. Questions or comments? Okay. 
Ok, so usted por sus propios medios vuelve a leer el pink chart, el cuadro rosado que está ahí, y de ahí mismo va a sacar las respuestas de la 1 a la 6. Let's go. Ok. You guys ready?
Yes, teacher. Sorry, I forgot I have to put the earphone. You guys ready? Yes, no, I need a couple of more minutes. Yes, teacher, I, I'm ready. What about the others? Okay. Okay, one more minute. All right, how was the training? Interesting. Interesting, it was interesting. Very good. When was the training? It last was, Tuesday. it was last Tuesday. Tuesday. When? The last Tuesday. When, when? It Tuesday. was like last Tuesday. It was last Tuesday. Good. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Yes, I did. Los que no están respondiendo, vaya comparando sus respuestas. Y si no logra descifrar por qué la tiene diferente, please ask me. What did you learn? How to fix Big the equipment yes. and how to prevent the mates on it. Good. What did you learn? I fixed how to, I learned how to fix the equipment and how to prevent damages on it. What's the meaning of damages? Daños. Daños, exactly. Was the presenter helpful? The presenter was really helpful. Yes, the presenter was really helpful. Did he use examples? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Very good. Recuerde, si le están preguntando con did, usted debe responder con did. Si le están preguntando con was, usted tiene que responder con was. Independientemente sea, si es positivo, usted va a decir was. Si es negativo, va a decir wasn't. Si le están preguntando con did, usted va a responder, yes, I did, yes, we did. And if the answer is negative, you will say didn't. Any questions about the reading? Vocabulary or pronunciation? Like it. Number three, like it. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Tiene que ponerle atención al auxiliar que se está ocupando. Si es did, you use did with the answer. If you use was, you use was in the answer. If you use were, you have to use were in the answer. Questions or comments? Anybody? Alguien que no entienda por qué su respuesta estaba diferente? This is the perfect time to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Para cuando usted ya esté en una conversación real, la lleve a cabo lo más natural posible. Yo puse Hawaii. The training. How, how was the training? Uh -huh. How the training? What is the answer, Juan Ricardo? Uh, equipment. Uh -uh. How was the training? 
Y ahí dice en la segunda línea, the training was interesting. Ajá, cabal, así puse, digo. Ok, good. Anybody else? Any questions? Any comments? Teacher, in, yes. the, in the question six, yes. did he use examples? The answer is he did use examples. Sí, lo puede responder así. Sí, él usó ejemplos. Yes, you can. Pero la primera opción debería de ser, did he use examples? Yes, he did. The two answers are good. Puede responder, yes, he did, or he did use examples. Yep. Porque dijimos que ocupamos el did plus the main verb para hacer énfasis. Y en ese caso, sí, él usó ejemplos. Very good. Good question. Questions or comments? No. Okay. Now it's time for you to produce uh, questions. Usted va a hacer las, las preguntas ahorita. Dice la parte six. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part six, please. Uh huh. Yes, go ahead, please. Write seven questions about present events at your workplace using the past of B. Uh -huh. Then ask them to a classmate and share the, the answer with the whole, whole class. class. With the whole class. Very good. En ese caso, la W es muda. Entonces, inicia el sonido con H. Whole class. Entonces, usted va a escribir siete preguntas acerca de eventos recientes en su lugar de trabajo. Ocupando el pasado de B. So, uh, puede preguntar. Y estuvo um, interesante el meeting. Y las respuestas estuvieron presentes. Y estuvo el supervisor en la puerta. Cualquier pregunta relacionado a su trabajo. No necesariamente de eventos recientes, sino que general questions. General questions. No va a escribir siete, solo va a escribir tres. Write three okay. questions. Go ahead. Ok, thank you. Ok. Los colocamos en el chat, dicho. Cuando los he terminado, yes, please. Ok. Y todos los que los van poniendo, pay attention para las observaciones o los comentarios que les voy haciendo. And take notes.
Was the manager at the meeting? Question mark. Was the boss using the projector? Was the boss using the projector? How was the meeting? Was, what time was lunch? Quiero ver cómo puedo cambiar la segunda. Was the email checked? Was the email checked? Very good. Did the manager come to work yesterday? Was there a meeting last week? How was the training? Very good. Did the co-workers use the computer? Did the co-workers use the computer? Was the medical check passed? Was the medical check passed? Give me a second. Did you go to the cinema with your girlfriend? Did you go to the cinema with your girlfriend? Did you go early at work? Did you eat the lunch? Did you work the, the order? Very good. Who else? Who else? ¿Qué pregunto ahí cuando digo who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Exactly. Who else? Entonces, si who else significa quién más, ¿cómo voy a decir qué más? What else? What, What else? else? ¿Dónde más? What else? Where else? Where else? Where else? Very good. Okay, let's go, let's go. Who came from the central office? Did the boss authorize the expenses? And did she send the email? Very good. Boss, B-O-S-S, -S, B -O -S, S, boss. Okay, thank you. Good. Did the auditor come yesterday? Did the auditor come yesterday? Porque tiene que ir come and not came. Anybody? Because is did. Exactly. Because you're using auxiliary did. Y como hemos dicho, cuando ocupamos did en una pregunta, el verbo se queda siempre base form. When was the meeting? Was the boss present at the training? Was the supervisor angry? Cuando estamos haciendo las preguntas, el was va al inicio. Okay. Was there audit in your work? Was there audit in your work? How did they work without electricity? Very good. Teacher. Yes. En el ejercicio de Francisco. Uh -huh. The uh, auditor came. Did the. Ahí sería con, ¿verdad? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Did the auditor come yesterday? Y recuerde, aquí se puede equivocar todas las veces que quiera. Teacher, uh, no pasó la asistencia. Ahorita, después de este ejercicio, voy con la asistencia. Por eso me levanté a traer el, el libro. Where was the sales, salesman, salesman, sin S, on Thursday? And Thursday is capital T. Uh, was Don Francisco a vigilant? Was Don Francisco a vigilant? Where was I with my friend? 
Where was I with my friend? Did my boss come late? Did you clean the windows? Was he at the meeting? Very good. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, so let me take attendance. My gosh, 15 minutes, faltan no más. Okay. Um, Alex Martinez. Present teacher. Very good. Francisco Godinez. Present. Very good. Delmi Gomez. Present. Good. Kenya Ruiz. Teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Juan Delgado. Present. Present, Chich. Good. William Perez. Present. Okay. Uh, Susana Jimenez. Susana, Susana. Okay, Susana is absent. Um, Jose Corea. Jose Corea. Absent. Judy Cuellar. Here, teacher. Very good. Carlos Avendaño. Present teacher. Very good. Elsa Merino. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemi Vasquez. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Ruben Campos. Present teacher. Very good. Helen Barraza. Helen. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Moises Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Maricela Velasquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rafael Barrientos. Present. Good. Iris Cañas. Present. Very good. Reina Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Very good. Carmen Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Vázquez. Present teacher. Very good. And Ana Mercedes Amay. I'm here. Very good. Excellent. Good attendance, people. Vamos a apagar la lámpara para porque casi no veo. Okay, uh, did you clean the windows? Was he at the meeting? Very good, nice. Uh, okay, we go to the next exercise. It says, how often do you evaluate products at your company? who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace. So here in this class, people come from uh, different offices, different companies, different factories. Probablemente algunos de ustedes no apliquen estas dos preguntas. How often do you evaluate products at your company? ¿Qué tan seguido evalúa productos en su compañía? And who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? ¿Y quién está a cargo de comprar Supplies at your workplace. Are the questions clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Who's in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? What's the name of the person? Lawasi. Who? Eh. Unidad de compras. Okay. Unidad de compras. Uh, 
Yeah, the purchasing department. Ahorita se lo voy a poner en el chat. Ok. Purchasing department. Purchasing department. Okay. How frequent do you evaluate products? Very often. Very often. Very often. Y eso tiene que ser parte de todos los lugares donde trabajamos. Evaluar, evaluar los productos, los servicios. Evaluar a sus supervisores, a los team captains, todo mundo debe ser evaluado. Ok. Nosotros somos evaluados cada, cada año. Good. ¿Y quién los evalúa? Pues, pues, primero los evalúa la administración y después el supervisor. Ok. Good. All right. So, can you see the picture, the purple picture? Yes, teacher. How many people are involved in the conversation? Two people. Two people. Two people. How many women? Two. Two women? Are you sure? Yes. How do you say how many women? ¿Cuántas mujeres hay en la, en la conversación? La respuesta Zero. es none. 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 What's the meaning none. of none? Ninguna. Ajá, ninguno o ninguna. What are the two men doing? What are they doing? ¿Cómo se le llama ese no. saludo? Shaking the hands. No. Shaking good. hands. Shaking hands. Shaking, shaking hands. Shaking hands. Very good. Se están dando la mano. How do you say candado in English? Goatee. 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 How many people are wearing glasses? How many people are wearing glasses? One, one people. people. One, person. one person. One person is wearing glasses. Okay. All right. So I'm going to read the conversation. Please pay attention for pronunciation. Goes like this. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Así debería responder toda la gente. ¿Con qué tal el, el, la atención al cliente? Hmm? Questions or comments about this conversation, about vocabulary or pronunciation. Dice, hola Eric, compraste el repuesto para la máquina de coser. Sí lo hice, Robert. El precio fue 78 dólares. Ok, necesito la evaluación del producto. ¿Del producto nuevo? Correcto. Y le responde Eric, va a estar listo mañana. Y después habla Hank y dice, fabuloso. ¿Lo ordenaste en línea o lo compraste en downtown? ¿Qué significa downtown? Ciudad. El centro. El centro, El centro de la ciudad. El centro de la ciudad. Le pregunta, ¿lo ordenaste en línea o lo compraste en el centro? Sí, fui a, a traerlo yo mismo al centro. ¿Y qué tal la atención al cliente? Muy buena como usual o como siempre. Muy buena como siempre. Questions or comments? Remember, every time that you read, you're supposed to understand what you're reading. Teacher, the pronunciation the sewing. So, sewing machine. Esa E suena como una O. Y usted dice sewing machine. Sewing. Oh. Sewing machine. Sewing. Oh. Oh. 
¿En qué trabajo usted puede encontrar máquinas de coser? How do you say sastre in English? Taylor. 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 O las puede encontrar donde una costurera, donde una maquila, un lugar donde hagan uniformes. Show, sewing machine. Questions or comments, people. So, vamos a hacer este último ejercicio brevemente. Vamos a, let's practice pronunciation. Break up rooms. 23 people, that's a good number. Add a room, add a room, add a room, and add a room. Recreate, recreate. Taylor in, in English. Taylor in English. Okay, everybody has a partner. Recuerden que en Mr. Carlos Avendaño está de oyente. Así que Okay, here we go.
Hello, hello, welcome back. Your favorite part of the class is here. Y por dentro muchos están, sí. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much again. Gracias por haber dedicado dos horas más a su a su life training, life skill training. Hay alguien que se puede quedar hoy o alguien que se quiere repetir, just in case. Che, yo tenía una consulta. Yes, Noemi. Y rapidito. Yes. Yo he querido completar la tarea 13 y en la, en la, en la 16. Y hay dos preguntas que, que no sé qué pasa, pero siempre me salen mal. Vaya, mándeme exactamente dónde está teniendo esos detalles para yo decirle cómo solventarlos. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Good. Anybody else? Any questions? Any sí. comments? Sí, igual yo. Ajá. Igual yo me... Los trato de ordenar en la, en la parte donde se ordena la oración. Y solo una me sale bien y la otra. Okay. De todas formas, no. A mí okay. solo una me sale mal, la número dos. Okay. A mí también la número dos. Uh -huh. Yo no creo que es problema de la plataforma. Pueda que, sí. que sí. Pueda que sí. Pueda que sí. Uh -huh. Y o hay veces de que, digamos, dejaron almacenada la respuesta, la supuesta buena respuesta. Y está mal digitada. Entonces, por muy bien que usted la ponga, no se la va a leer. Así que, mándenme esas imágenes para yo decirles cómo solventar esas situaciones. Ok, okay teacher. Thank you. Levante la mano. ¿Quién no se ha quedado todavía? Yo le mandé algunas, teacher. Ok, eh. good. Levante la mano. ¿Quién no se ha quedado todavía? Todos se quedaron ya. Bye. Marisela, can you stay today? ¿Se puede quedar hoy? No, teacher, me puedo quedar mañana. Bye. Todos son testigos que mañana se va a quedar hasta las 11, dijo. ¿Verdad? Hasta las 12. Ok, very good. So, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, que Dios los bendiga a todos. Good night, Amén. Good night everybody. Ok, José Corea. Good. Oh, ok, está bien, está bien, el miércoles, está bien, José Corea. Mm -hmm. No me salí. Ay,